Hey guys, today I will show you how to make copper two sulfate pinch hydrate. So the chemicals you'll be needing is sulfuric acid and copper oxide. I got my sulfuric acid from car battery acid, so it's not really concentrated. So grab your copper oxide, which is I'm just choosing about. Um, one, one and a half grams, and I'm using about 10 milliliters of sulfuric acid. What's well, diluted? So just pour the acid in the copper to oxide zone. So we just pour in a little by little. It should release. Hydrogen. Okay, I think we need more than ten milliliters. So we just add about another ten milliliters. Okay, add more. with the square rod and now filter with the filter ok so get your filter up and pour everything well not in here in the different speaker. Okay, different beaker. So just add it here. And this is not the purest way to make your to your copper to sulfate, but it works a little bit. So I'll be showing you when this is done. The field. So it's been about five minutes, and it's almost finished filtering. And you can see a blue color because that's copper to sulfate. So you can see a blue color. It looks clear. I mean, look. Yeah, it looks clear of the light, but it's not. Yes. Turn off the light. See? You see how it's blue. But the it's still contaminated with sulfuric acid. Like I'll put a pH paper and you see that it indicates that that's red, so that's meaning that it's really acidic. So I would prefer to boil it down, but I don't have a heat. That's why you don't see a a hot plate. So I just simply let it evaporate, and I'm not really sure if sulfuric acid evaporates, but I'm guessing it does. So please rate, comment, subscribe. Thanks for watching. So this is how you make copper to sulfate.